Welcome. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps spread the word and helps make more of these videos possible. Hello, this is Carrie again, and I have another video for you today. Today, I will be doing an unboxing of a haul I got from a brand new Dick Blick store that just opened up near me. So they had a gift bag given out to the first 50 people that got there. I was lucky enough to be um, among those people. They had, um, when you got inside, there were various activities. Um, and I think I recorded some of them. They also had bagels and coffee, no tea though. And um, I just want to show you guys a little bit of the store before we got into the actual haul. Around the country, we work with thousands of local not-for-profits, community groups. We are gonna be part of this community, we promise you. So please come in. Uh, if you've got something that you need help with, let us know, okay? Um, it's going to be a great marriage with this store and Brooklyn. So we really look forward to it. Thank you so much for coming. All right, guys. Bodum Coffee doing a demonstration up here, and so you're welcome to get a free cup of coffee. Go on down the stairs, and we have uh, Golden Paints as well as Liquitex Paints doing a demonstration. We have a live uh, jazz duo, and then as you go downstairs, head towards the back, and we have our prize wheel as well as uh, we have uh, Dane Carter, uh, a great screen printer, uh, running some free totes and T-shirts for you guys. So feel free to go on all the way through the store. If you've received a ticket for a goodie bag. We're gonna hand those out right around the 10 o'clock mark, so about, about a half hour to 45 minutes, give or take. Go ahead and mill about the store, see what's what's new in store, and then uh, we'll make an announcement when we're gonna do the, the, the goodie bags. So uh, feel free, head on down, and uh, thank you guys for coming. That undertone's really, really beautiful, but you can mix that with the fluid color and get a nice mixed color here. This mixes with the magenta as well. And here's open. Now this is starting to get sticky, right? The, the, op the uh, regular heavy bodies are already starting to tack up and dry. The open. Strangely, the uh, Starbucks nearby was closed and of course they didn't have any free tea. So I can't tell you if the coffee was any good, but the bagels and the other treats that they had were good. And this is one final shot of the store. It's a lovely big store with three different floors, which is pretty impressive. All right, so we saw the intro and um, this is the box the bag that I got. Um, as you guys saw in the intro, they gave out um, tickets to people in line. Um, the first 50 people, I think by the time the store officially opened, the tickets had just all been um, all gone. So if you go to a store opening, make sure you get there well before the store opens. So let's see what's in the bag. All right, so I'm going to, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this bag is super heavy. And um, as you guys know, this is a lightweight table. So I'm gonna put the bag down and then just slowly get up the items in here. Now they said the, it was a hundred dollar value, um, and that's kind of sort of true. It's a hundred dollar value if you count the suggested retail price, and these things never go for the suggested retail price. It's actually closer to fifty five dollars ish. Yes, I went to the website and put everything in the shopping cart. I don't know why I did that. Um, it's so extra, but whatever. All right, so first thing here is this is a studio artist panel. And um, I believe that the studio line is more, um, it's like one step below their professional line. So um, so this is supposedly a high quality artist panel and um, it already comes ready to hang. Um, as you guys know, I'm really, you know, watercolor is my thing um, and colored pencil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do all of this in watercolor ground and um, I'm just gonna at some point do a really big painting. You guys know I usually work fairly small, like I would work at something like the size of the label, but um, at some point I'm just gonna do something huge and just do the whole um, maybe I'll do swatches I love swatches so much all right so anyway so this is a huge um, 
a huge artist panel and I'm just gonna um, put some watercolor ground on it and sand it. I also want a, a $5 gift card and I use that gift card to buy some sanding paper for um, grinding the um, watercolor ground. Yes. And then after this, I'm just gonna put the bag back on the table. Um, these is in a set of uh, acrylics. I've never used acrylics. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use acrylics and who is interested in this, but these are two ounce tubes each. So, um, you know, shipping costs would be pretty high on this. So, um, so that's probably what I'll do is I'll probably end up taking it back to the store as a donation. All right. So I'm going to pause right here and then get out the other stuff. So the rest of this, I think is going to be much more interesting to you guys. Um, this is a giant, um, like I said, I work super small, so I was overwhelmed by the size of this, but this is some, uh, multimedia paper that I've tried a little bit on it and it's thinner than the 100% cotton, um, Strathmore uh, multimedia paper, but it's definitely thicker than some other less expensive brands that I've tried. So um, this is probably a brand that I will go to when I'm looking to do something in a larger size when I start practicing for doing larger size and they even are very helpful in telling you what mediums work best with um, various kinds of papers that they sell. So I found this to be really useful. Um, so I was really um, appreciate having this. Uh, I tried out some uh, with a little bit of marker to see how it would go and it does bleed with marker. Speaking of which, and we are gonna swatch these out. Um, they included some Blick Studio markers and I was so glad to get this because um, markers is something that I have been struggling so hard with and these are super high quality artist markers and um i'm just gonna make it a mission to practice markers um, as much as i can this paper is not ideal for marker but i have some yupo paper and i have other kinds of paper that might be a better fit for markers so um and they gave me a set of 12 which is a big set actually um and you know what at the end i'm gonna swatch these out so I'm just going to set this aside a little bit because I'm going to swatch this out on this paper, even though this paper is not ideal for markers. Next up is I got some Blick Soft Pastels. And I was also very glad to get this because the only brand of Soft Pastels that I have are the Sennelier um, Artist Soft Pastels, which are super expensive. And I find myself being afraid to practice with them. So, um, so it's nice to have this. So, um, so I really, really appreciate having this and you know what? I haven't opened this. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and open this. Um, which some of the fancier soft pastel paper has like a sanded texture on the paper. So it has like a texture of sandpaper so that it grips the, the, ooh, these look nice. Actually, these look really nice um, and high quality. Uh, let's see. So you get a nice mix of colors. Hold on, let me show you the colors. Uh, is this a sample sheet of paper? No, this isn't a sample sheet. This is just, um, some information on them but you get a nice set um you get a black and a white which is really nice but you also get a brown which looks like that's probably going to be a good skin tone um a good african-american skin tone then you get a pink that might be a good skin tone or you mix that with white um maybe even the yellow too if you mix that with the white so um so yeah and these look really nice mm -hmm. and um like I said, they didn't know I had a YouTube channel or anything. I just got online and this is what they gave to everybody who became one of the first 50. And these are the last two items. So like I said, this aside, the first item, which I think we are going to swatch is these are the Blick Studio drawing pencils. So these are their graphite pencils. And um, I really enjoy graphite drawing. I didn't think that I would, but I really enjoy doing it. Uh, graphite pencils, which I think we are gonna swatch in this multimedia paper. And um, this, which I am not sure what I'm gonna do with this. These are the Blick Studio colored pencils. And the reason I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these is, as you guys already know, I reviewed a set of these. Um, so I have a set of 36 that I've already reviewed. Um, I may, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, you know, I'll figure out what I want to do with these. Um, but um, you know what? I guess I'll swatch these out too. So we're going to do a bit of swatching towards the end of this. And, um, and that's it. They also had like screen printed shirts and stuff. And I didn't get a chance to get us 
screen printed shirt. So I'm going to take a break and then um, I'm going to come back and we're going to do a little bit of swatching on the markers and um, the graphite pencils and um, the colored pencils. So I'll be right back. All right. So I'm not going to swatch all of these colors, but I will swatch a few of these. Um, you guys can see the full swatch chart here um because i want to get to the graphite pencils and the color pencils now these are i believe these are sort of their copic uh challenger pencils um copic copic um challenger pencils so there's a brush tip like this and um these feel really pigmented and strong and then there's a brush tip Ooh, the brush tip is a flexible brush tip it's not a it's not the softest brush tip, but it is, um, it is really flexible. So you can do this for making sort of light marks like a grass. And um, based on the smell and the fact that they bleed so much, I'm just going to assume, even though I didn't see it on the packaging, I'm just going to assume that these are, um, that these are alcohol markers because um, they do definitely smell like alcohol markers and there's a mark for the chisel tip and there's a mark for the brush tip and um i'm just enjoying these little check mark grass lines um and they are as you can see they sort of they lay flat on a table if you have a tilted draft table um they're not going to roll or at least not roll far and um they're actually, I thought that they would not be comfortable to hold because they're so square and I'm used to sort of rounded pencils, but these are fine. Um, and these are totally, totally holdable. So you can see that, you can see the, the line variation there. Um, these are really nice, actually. I'm impressed by these. Um, all right these are the colored pencils now i did do a full review of these um and i even compared them to the coronor pencils um which they are extremely similar to depending on who you ask they'll say that they're the same or they're not the same but they're close enough that it makes no difference the um the outside of the pencils is different this one is a round pencil it's a very smooth pencil and the coronor pencils are a um, hexagonal pencil and i actually like these better um, I sent the the set of 12 Coronor that I had, I sent that off to a fan and I used um, and I kept the, the Blick round ones. So I already have a set of these Blick round ones. So probably what I'm going to do is um, either use these for a giveaway or send these off to a patron um, since I already have um, I think I already have all these colors. Um, they come pre-sharpened and let me show you the other end. Um, so the other end is not, um, it's rounded on the other end, but it's not covered. It's not like sealed or anything, um, which I think is a, you know, some money saving feature, but that's okay because, you know, when you are trying to get affordable artist pencils, you want as much money to go into the core the wood and the pigmentation as possible and you want to pay as little for extras like advertising and um, these are actually really smooth on this paper um, I might use this paper for sketching with these pencils I'm actually surprised um, and after I did the um, the earlier part of the video I checked and this is the smallest size these multimedia notebooks come in um, so maybe I'll cut them myself um, I did a video on how to cut um, paper large sheets of paper to size um, but you guys can see that these are very highly pigmented I like the fact that there's no white included on this set of 12 um, I think there is a set of 12 there is a white in the set of 24 but for a set of 12 getting a white man it it, it blows a little bit so I like these pencils you can see that these are these are really nice writers, very, very smooth. Um, I did a complete review of these. I'll give a link to the complete review up there. And I found no, um, 
no sort of hard bits, no sort of um, major inconsistencies. I did have um, one of the cores break a little bit, but once I changed the blade on my sharpener, they stopped breaking. So I assumed that that was probably sharpener caused. And I had another one where it was the pencil, but I took it into the store and they replaced it. No problem. So, um, so I definitely think really highly of these pencils. Um, and in fact, there are some of my um, favorite sort of affordable pencils to, to recommend. All I love everything that I've tried so far. I really, really love. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing with the acrylics. And I love the fact that they gave us a chance to get this stuff um, for free just by showing up to their store opening. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to stay for a video of one of the cats. I think last time I promised you a video of Stewie and you got a video of Bella and that so this time i'm not gonna promise because i gotta see which one i can round up to make a cute video for you guys all right thank you guys so much for watching um and make sure to if there's a store opening for an art store get up super early go out there brave the cold and um see if you two can win prizes all right i'll see you guys later bye